What's up, tubers? It's your boy Itchy, and in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about the undead zombies. All kind of things that uh, irk in the night. And I thought this was a fitting video, seeing that we are uh, at Halloween. So, happy Halloween to everyone. I hope that you're going to party safe and have a great uh, time. But, I want to do a cool Halloween video and just kind of run down... Uh, the zombie movies that are in my collection and kind of let you know what I think about each one of them. So let's get started. In the first video, the first movie that I want to present to you, let's talk about this one, Warm Bodies. Uh, I really enjoyed this movie. And by the way, the movies that I'm going to show you are in no particular order. So this is not a one through whatever. This is just how they happen to stack out. So I'm going to talk to them as I come. I'm going to talk about them as I come to them. Uh, Warm Bodies was a really cool movie for me. I really enjoyed it. It was a nice love story and it was a cool way to reinvent uh, the living dead. So I had to go and buy this one. I've watched it several times. I think it's an awesome movie. Uh, different and different is always good in my opinion. Um, another cool movie that's recent that's zombie related is World War Z. Uh, Z standing for zombie, I hope. Uh, but uh, it was a cool movie. More of an action hero blockbuster than a, a bona fide zombie movie. But I really thought this was a great movie and I really enjoyed it. So this was definitely an ad for my collection as well. Moving right along. We're going to talk about The Walking Dead, the complete first season. The season that started it all, if you were not a comic book reader. I am a comic book reader, so disregard that statement. But this was a great season of TV, I thought. And it was cool because zombies finally went Hollywood, in my opinion, with The Walking Dead. Even though they had already been mainstream. But uh, this is the first complete season. And the only season that um, I do not have a special edition of. So, very interesting. Next on my list is the second season of The Walking Dead. And this one is on a special edition. And it's got the nice case that flips out. And this one came with the head with the screwdriver guy. So, very awesome. Um, I really enjoyed the second season. Uh, even though I did not enjoy it as much as the third season. Which I'm going to talk about also. Uh, again... I'm a huge Walking Dead fan, so I own all three seasons, so they all three had to be added to my zombie collection. Another one that's probably not on a lot of people's radar, but one of my favorites is Planet Terror. Um, this was a Robert Rodriguez film. It's got a lot of cool characters in it, a lot of uh, famous people, and who, who wouldn't love a chick with a machine gun leg? But horror some zombies, cool way that they dealt with the zombies. This was an awesome movie, one of my favorites that I've added to my collection. For all you indie lovers out there, this was a good one, The Dead. Uh, I, don't, I, I felt a lot of, uh, I felt a couple different ways about this movie. I've watched it several times, but for a more independent zombie, uh, going to the roots of what we think zombies are, the Romero zombie, I think this was a great movie and uh, I really enjoyed it, so I added it to my collection. Walking through Walmart, like last year, I think around Halloween, I picked this up and there's some really good stuff in it. You've got Return of the Living Dead 3, which is the one I really wanted out of this list. You've got Return of the Liv Living Dead Necropolis. You've got Boy Eats Girl and you've got Dead and Gone. Uh, the name of these speaks for themselves, but they were zombie related, particularly this one I really liked. So I went ahead and bought the box set because I wanted Return of the Living Dead uh, Part 3. Here's another cool one in my collection, Night of the Living Dead 3D. And if I remember correctly, yes, this one does come with its own 3D glasses. Very cool. I picked this one up a couple years ago, and I thought it was a great movie. I still do. It's cool to sit back with my wife and watch some of these zombie movies. Another great one, Night of, Night of the Living Dead. Now, here's an interesting uh, piece of trivia about me. I do not actually own the original black and white Night of the Living Dead. Um, I do own this version. This is a George A. Romero uh, inspired version directed by, I want to say uh, Tom Savina, but this is my favorite uh, depiction of Night of the Living Dead. It is a color remake and it's got Candyman as the black guy, if you guys know who Candyman is. Um, here is the Holy Grail for me, the ultimate edition of the Dawn of the Dead. This is the original, and 
This thing came with all kind of awesomeness. Uh, I bought this when this was available. The box art is just amazing for this. And it was just one of my favorite zombie purchases that I've made. Comes with a cool little comic book. And it was just super awesome. It's got George's signature right there. It's got an extended version, a U.S. theatrical version, a European version, and documentary. So anything that you want to know about zombies, this is the collector's edition for you. The ultimate edition of the Dawn of the Dead must buy if you're into zombies. Next on the list is the original Day of the Dead. Shout out to Blu-ray. And I just uh, unboxed this recently on the channel. Um, it was remastered, so I had to pick it up. Great movie. Bub standing there holding the pistol. Awesome, awesome movie. Really enjoyed it. If you're a zombie guy, this is another George A. Romero. Must have. Not to be uh, stood up. The remake of Dawn of the Dead. And this was a cool one because this movie, in my opinion, really introduced the running zombie to us. And this movie scared me when I saw it the first time. I'm not even going to lie. And if you say that you weren't at least a little shocked by the opening sequence when the little girl did the spider monkey pose, um, you're lying. Great movie. Really enjoyed it. Definitely, if you're into zombies, got to own this one. You can get it for like six bucks used anywhere, pretty much. Another great Romero movie, Land of the Dead. Um, this one kind of got off on a tangent just a tad bit for me because the zombies were starting to think and I don't want to think about zombies thinking say that 10 times fast, but it was enjoyable nonetheless that truck they they rocked in this movie was badass and you gotta like this one if you're uh, a zombie fan. Bet you didn't see this one coming. The original The Fog movie. And this is a John Carpenter classic. Um, and what's cool about these zombies are they're zombie pirates actually um, coming back to a town that was cursed. And I thought that this was really cool. Scared the shit out of me as a kid. I always made me think twice when I was coming up on Fog. But great movie nonetheless. Definitely check this one out if you're a zombie fan. Another one of my favorites in the list. Stephen King's Pet Cemetery, the original. Um, you've got a lot of zombies from zombie from a zombie cat to a zombie kid and a zombie wife. Uh, this was a great one, and uh, that little boy's voice was like so creepy when he said, "I already played with mommy, now I want to play with you." It was great. Uh, check this one out if you're into zombies, uh, murder, and mayhem. Another cool zombie movie is Phantasm Three: Lord of the Dead. The name says it all, and it literally is about these little balls that travel around, pop people in the head, and uh, do something crazy to their brains. But there's a tall man, there's these little munchkin dwarf things that'll kill you, and there's lots of zombies. So this was a cool uh, movie that is kind of out there, <laughs> but I, I, I just love the Phantasm series. So this is a great one to own. Another cool one. Nice 80s classic, Night of the Creeps. If you hadn't seen this one, you definitely need to. And it's got a great tagline on the front here. It says, the good news is your dates are here. The bad news is they're dead. And it's got an awesome cover. But this was a great movie and one of uh, my favorite zombie flicks. Moving along. What's a zombie movie run through without talking about the Evil Dead and my favorite Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2. The only Evil Dead I actually own from the originals. A lot of comedy, lots of zombies, and it was just a funny, awesome movie. Definitely watch this. Bruce Campbell's awesome in this one, but pick this one up if, if you're a, a zombie aficionado. <laughs> Then there's my comedy zombies, <laughs> Shaun of the Dead. This is a cool movie, and if you really sit down and watch this movie, there are some serious undertones and some real uh, kind of scenes that build tension, but this is a great overall movie from the beginning to the end. A uh, lot of laughter, a lot of, I can't believe these guys are that fucking stupid, but great movie nonetheless, and one of my favorite comedy zombie movies. Another great one, Zombieland. Um, and I like this one for a number of reasons. I think Woody Harrelson is awesome in this movie, but I also think the supporting cast is really good. Um, I really like the depiction of the zombies, and I really like uh, the rules that they uh, give you to survive a zombie apocalypse. I think this is a great movie. This is one of the more family-friendly zombie movies, if there is such a thing, but I really enjoyed this one, so definitely check this one out. 
Another great one, old school, the reanimator. Um, this is cool. Um, as you can see, he's got a head there. And <laughs> this one goes from bad to worse. It was one of my first zombie movies that I really seriously uh, thought about purchasing. And it's just a cool movie about a mad scientist and how things can go wrong when you start messing with the dead. Great movie. Another great movie, The Return of the Living Dead. Great, great, great movie. Very funny. Got a lot of awesome scenes. Got a lot of great nudity. If you guys are without a girlfriend, uh, there's a naked girl hunching the tombstone. You'll probably get a kick out of that. Then she's devoured by uh, a, a graveyard pretty much full of zombies. And she's naked the rest of the movie. So if you like nudity and you like zombies, this is your, fl this is your flick. I guarantee you. Part two of that movie was also very good. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, I really enjoyed the Return of the Living Dead movies because they kind of make fun of the Night of the Living Dead stuff, but they kind of invent their own zombie. Um, what what actually is scary about these movies is that I don't think there's a way to pretty much kill these zombies except in part two, you could actually electrocute them and put them down. Whereas in part one uh, of the Return of the Living Dead, there was pretty much no hope. Going way, way back, we got a Charlton Heston, Charlton Heston, excuse me, movie, The Omega Man. And I know you guys are like, what the fuck is that? Well, if you've ever heard of this movie, this is what The Omega, this is what I Am Legend is based on, The Omega Man. And it's actually, if you want to go even further, there's a book about I Am Legend that was actually before both of these but this was the first run of I Am Legend and it's called The Omega Man and it doesn't quite follow the same uh, uh, storyline but it's very similar but this was a must have for me and so was I Am Legend even though these guys are technically not zombies they're kind of vampires but they're kind of an in-between in my opinion in this movie and in this movie so I put them in my zombie collection the book I should say is actually about vampires another cool one this is kind of a European flick but hell of the living dead old school Really enjoy it. I pick these up anytime I can because I really appreciate the, the genre. Uh, I'm not a bandwagon fan, but I thought this was a really cool movie. Very old school. I bought it used at uh, Movie Stop, I think for a couple bucks. Great movie. Another kind of B-movie zombie movie, City of the Living Dead. Another great movie that I thought was pretty funny. Uh, it's got some great kill scenes in it, and uh, I picked this one up too. Again, I got it used, and I just thought that it was a, a great uh, homage to the zombie film. Not to be outdone in a double fashion, 28 Days and 28 Weeks Later. Both of these are two awesome movies, particularly 28 Weeks. I liked a little bit better than 28 Days Later initially. But as I've gotten older and gotten more appreciation for the original film and have watched it several more times, I enjoy both equally. Both great films, and if I had to give an edge to one, it would be to the 28 Days Later movie versus the 28 Weeks movie. Both of these are really great movies. Then I'm going to do these all together to get this over with. <laughs> and there's a lot of them. Let's widen out a little bit. Try to get all these in frame as best we can. Sorry about my spacing. But the Resident Evil collection. Um, a great mix of action, zombie, horror, and Mila, who was just smoking hot. But if I had to get rid of all of them, my favorite one is actually part one because it started it all. And it actually was a shocker for me that this movie and this franchise would be so interesting to me. Then part two was really good, and I think they kind of declined after that, particularly uh, Extinction and Afterlife. But I think the series has picked back up pretty good with Retribution. We'll just have to wait and see. But a great uh, collection of zombie movies that if you're into the genre and you like action, and if you like the game, like I do, played on PlayStation 1 for the first time, Resident Evil 2, loved it, been hooked ever since. You'll like these movies. They're not necessarily true to the uh, game, but they're great movies and they're a lot of fun to watch. Whew. 
that's all I got, guys. I've gone through my entire uh, list or collection of legal uh, zombie movies. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section um, if you appreciated it. Show me some love with the like button, and I'll see you in the next one. Happy Halloween, and I'll see you guys later.